as you can see we have Alex here with us well for now at least Okay, let's get started. everybody I'm okay the billboard broke my fall this is the dumbest design ever it's already open Just give me a hand, okay? So who are you supposed to be? Luke or Bo? This isn't funny. 
Hey, Jennifer. Oh, man. What's the date? What? That's something I should be asking you. You've probably wrecked your head. Just, what's the date, Jennifer? It's the 15th. The year? 1986. Duh. Oh, man. Oh, man. This can't be happening. My debt to society is paid. As for you, good luck with your car. Way to stick it to Big Brother. Just don't expect your sudden cry for attention to change anything between us, Dig. Doesn't change no, what? Look, Alex. Jennifer, I think there are some things we need to talk about. Hey, maybe you can give me a lift in a town. Oh, sure, Martin. Climb on in. Hey, Jennifer, wait. I told you we're through, McFly. I'll never dig such a square again. My own girlfriend thinks I'm a square? Alex, no. Jesus, could this get any worse? your help right about now. I don't really feel qualified to repair a nuclear reactor. Maybe it's still under warranty. I guess technically it's way under warranty. Twelve volts. Wait, this is the car battery? It must have been installed in 2015 with the Mr. Fusion. Still has plenty of juice. Okay, now for the tire. I Dead. think. May 15th, 1986. Yeah, the, the date's right, but. That's not good. The wheel, the wheel I should been say. Off the battery.
Okay, Doc, let's see what kind of nightmare alternate timeline have landed in this time. Okay, Marty, nothing to be afraid of. It's just an alternate hill valley that's turned my girlfriend into a punk rock vandal. That doesn't mean it's full of post-apocalyptic biker gangs run by armies of fifth clubs. Just take a deep breath and remember, we gotta find Doc. It's so, so clean. Good morning, citizen. Good morning to you too, citizen. What's going on here, Doc? Jeez, my Hill Valley never looked this good. Watch where you're going, citizen. Sorry. Mr. Parker. That's Officer Parker to you, Martin. Now what's with the outfit? I, uh... It's Thursday. Yeah? Polo shirt Thursday. You're out of uniform. That's a violation of Civic Ordinance 9 Triple E. And you're not wearing an ID. In direct violation of Ordinance WB714. What are you up to, citizen? Hold up, shirt. Are you on the pot, citizen? Put your arms up. Spread your legs. Hey, what are you doing? Quiet. Hold still. <clears throat> Nothing. What's your deal today, McFly? Uh, can you tell me where I can find Doc, uh, Citizen Brown? Are you sure you're an honor student? Where do you think he is at this time of day? At work? That's right. Working at the courthouse. Heavy. Hey, what's with the pat down? What do you think? I'm packing heat? Heat? Contraband? Contraband? You know. Booze, smokes, bubblegum, dogs, bubble circus gum peanuts. Is illegal. Come on, McFly. You're smart enough to know that ignorance of the Civic Ordinance 2XM isn't an excuse. Have you seen Jennifer? What's it to you? I thought she broke up with you. Yeah, well, I need to talk to her about that. Good luck finding her. I usually don't see her unless she's racking up demerits for her art. Since when are you a cop? I thought you were a shoe salesman. Are you on something? I've always been a cop. Just like my pa. Great, I've turned my girlfriend's dad into a cop. I've got to finish my beat. Are you going to make trouble for me today? No. No what? No, sir. That's right, citizen. Okay, what let's say? Courthouse. How may I help you, citizen? I need to see Doc. Or
or uh, Citizen Brown. Do you have an appointment? No, but... Then I'm afraid you'll have to wait your turn. Citizen Brown's a very busy man. That voice sounds familiar. and Lorraine's youngest, Martin, right? What? You don't know me? Only by reputation. Brown Cadet of the Month, three months running. Impressive. Are you interested in the Citizen Plus program? Listen, Biff, that car I saw you get out of, was that Doc Brown in there with you? Ah, Doc. That should be his new nickname. But yeah, that was Citizen Brown. What an inspirational guy. How'd you get FaceTime with him? He seems so busy. You got that right, Martin. Citizen Brown's a busy, busy guy. But fortunately, uh, unfortunately, I'm a special case. See, Martin, I used to be a real bad apple. A real butthead. I don't see why that would make you a special case. What can I say, Martin? I was always getting into trouble. Too much trouble, what with the booze, the partying, the women. Even my dogs were a pack of trouble. Pack, get it? Uh, yeah. What does this have to do with Citizen Brown? Well, after getting in so much trouble, the authorities, they took me in to see Citizen Brown and gave me an ultimatum. Citizen Plus or bust. So, uh, about all the bad things you used to do. Gosh, Martin. I really don't like dredging up the past, but all right, if it'll help you make a decision about Citizen Plus. You said something about booze? Beer, rum, whiskey, wine coolers, you name it, I drank it. Not only did I drink it, I smuggled it into Hill Valley too. Chip off the old block, huh? Used to be I'd knock your block off for a comment like that. But yeah, I guess I was following in Pop's crummy footsteps. So there's no booze in Hill Valley? Nope. Sure, someone tries to sneak some in every now and then, but cops like Officer Parker over there always catch them sooner or later. Why'd your dogs get you in trouble? You weren't running dog fights, were you? No, nothing that bad. I just used to have a lot of dogs. What's wrong with that? Nothing, other than them keeping the neighbors up all night, lunging at old people, and eating all the squirrels in the park. In fact, I'm ashamed to say it was my out-of-control dogs that were directly responsible for the banning of dogs throughout Hill Valley. You don't sound very ashamed. Oh, I am. Very, very ashamed. There's no dogs in Hill Valley anymore? Yep. Citizen Edna says they carry diseases and steal shoes. What kind of trouble did you get into with women? They weren't hookers? No, no, nothing like that. It's just that I wasn't always discreet about my affections. What? Public displays of affection, Martin. You know, necking and such. That's illegal? Oh, yeah. You seriously got in trouble for PDAs? You bet. The Browns always say that behaviors that excite your privates should be kept in private. Or maybe it's just Citizen Edna who says that. Uh, let's, let's change the subject. Thanks. I don't like talking about my old nasty self. Do you think I'd get to see Citizen Brown if I did all the bad stuff you used to do? I guess, but... 
Why would you want to act like that? What is this Citizen Plus? It's Citizen Brown's new re-education program, and I'm the first of Hill Valley Citizen Plus. Uh, pluses. Plus I? See you later, Biff. Bye, Martin! What's Jen up to now? Problem? What's the deal, Jennifer? He left me stranded outside the city gates. Yeah, that was pretty rotten, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. I'm such a horrible role model. Better get away before I corrupt you. Look, I don't know what you got against me in this timeline, uh, lately, but I'm here to make things right. I've missed you, you know? Take a look at me, Martin. Do I look like the kind of girl that would hang around the president of the Junior Brown Brigade? I don't know what the hell you're talking about, but I gotta admit, I kinda like you like this. Oh, Barf? You act like I'm a turnoff, but I don't buy it. We were meant to be together. Look, just because I let you tag along to a couple of concerts doesn't mean we're Romeo and Juliet. I mean, sure, you're a little cute, but... You're into all this honor student crap. Honor student? And I'm into more interesting things. And guys. If you're going out with someone else, I bet I can make you forget them. Sorry, Martin, but you just don't rate anymore. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Most of your time vandalizing public property? Don't even think about snitching on me. Unless you want this spray can up your... No, no, listen, you got me wrong. I'm looking to, uh, break a few rules myself. You? What do you know about harboring dangerous animals? So you met my new boyfriend. Oh, lighten up. Do you know where I could score some... Forbidden materials. Do I strike you as somebody who would possess illegal substances? Um, kind of, yeah. And you strike me as somebody who would turn in somebody like me. Next topic. This ban on public displays of affection bites. Hey, you're talking about my most favorite legal infraction of all. Yeah? Not with you. Ew! This law against public kissing is a load of bull, right? Yeah, this town is full of it. What are you gonna do? Protest. That's what. Let's go stage a public kiss in. Let's not, and say we did. Isn't graffiti a major infraction? You'd think. But after Big Brown had all those buildings coated in that Teflon polymer junk a couple years ago, graffiti's been knocked down to a two-demerit offense. Go fig. On second thought, maybe I don't want to know any more about breaking the rules. What? Valley's totally screwed up, but I got a plan to fix everything. You do, huh? I'm gonna go talk to Citizen Brown and get him to make it all better. That sounds like the kind of plan you'd come up with, weirdo. Your paint's starting to streak. Ah! Ok. 
Okay, I... Do I really have to do everything? Look out, son! Apparently not. you to give it up, remember? Rock and roll music is frowned on by the Brown administration. It sets a poor example for all the kids who look up to you as a model of studiousness and moral gravity. Besides, you're not very good. Come on, Dad. I need that guitar. Give me one good reason why I should give it back to you. Because... A certain girl is only going to like me if I can play the guitar. A certain girl? You don't mean... Jennifer. Oh, Martin. Why are you fixated on that little hellion? She's nothing but trouble. Yeah, my kind of trouble. And besides, the way you play guitar, you're only going to drive her further up. Go ahead, son. Do your worst. Thanks, Dad. Something while I was here. That's right. Um, I saw Mom downtown. She 
told me to give this to you. Thanks. Say, uh, what gives around here? Ah, uh, you know, the usual. Keeping tabs on Hill Valley through my trusty bank of monitors. Always on the lookout for some interesting footage. Interesting? What do you mean, interesting? What kind of silly question is that? I've been gathering candid documentary footage for Citizen Brown's promotional videos for over a year now. I know your mother doesn't approve of my work, but wait a minute. You say you saw Lorraine? 11 to 12 hair salon, 12 to 12 20 lunch at soup mold counter, cream of asparagus with crackers. What was that? You know your mother's problems. If she slips up again, it could mean demerits for the whole family. There she is, polishing the statue in the park. Just like the schedule dictates. Oh, then everything's fine. Good. Unless... How was she when you spoke to her? Lucid? Sober? Well, Dad, what are you telling me? You say her mom's a drunk? Shh. I don't know for sure that your mother is relapsed into her old ways, but she's been acting very odd lately, almost as if she didn't like my constant supervision. Confidentially, I suspect she's got a flask hidden somewhere, probably very near the spot where she's working right now. Do me a favor, son, will you? See if you can worm the truth out of her. She won't confide in me, but she may be less guarded with you. Double rations this week if you help your old man out, what do you say? That's a good boy. Okay, Dad, we need to talk. Well, I'll leave you to your snooping. Supervising, son. Supervising. Oh! Is that what you were trying to hide from me when I showed up? This? This is... Uh... I might as well tell you. After all, you'll be 18 soon. Tell me what? Hill Valley under Citizen Brown. It's not quite the contented town you were led to believe it was. You're kidding. This isn't a criticism of the great man himself, of course, or his sainted wife, Edna. No one's worked harder than they to apply the most advanced social planning techniques to our municipality. But... What? Confidentially, not everybody appreciates it. The great many citizens, perhaps even the majority, actively resent administration they don't say so publicly of course but in private well just listen i tell you Bert, this regime is a joke they're all laughing at us over in fairfax a toast to citizen brown and his beloved courthouse struck by lightning <laughs> you're awful are you coming to the town square lester citizen brown's about to give another speech citizen brown can kiss my carry well hell you get the idea Sounds like people can't stand what the Browns have done to Hill Valley. Not everyone. Only around 50%, maybe 60. Does Citizen Brown know? He should. Whenever I send copies of my raw footage to the public relations department over at the courthouse, I get a memo telling me how much Citizen Brown thanks me for my service. But how could he see those videos and not do anything about it? Maybe okay. you should take your tapes directly okay. to Brown. Oh, I don't know about that. I mean, sure, he might appreciate my bringing these problems to his attention and reward me for my public service, but then again, they say it's never wise to be the bearer of bad news. I'll leave you to it. Right. Hey, Demerit. Hey, what for? Insufficiently polished shoes. Good day. I wish my family had an electric car. Some space here. Huh? 
where'd she go? Oh, Martin! Uh, <clears throat> Was that a flask, Mom? Flask? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. I, I... Look, it's okay, Mom. Get a hold of yourself. Oh, your father's right. I'm backsliding. But it's been so hard. What with your brother and sister leaving? And then your father getting obsessed with his monitors and... Oh. <laughs> Let me take care of the flask. Dad doesn't have to know anything about it. <laughs> oh, thank you, sweetheart. I couldn't bear the thought of facing your father over this. Pretty funny how Beth doesn't even pay attention to Lorraine this time crying. Sucks. Mom and Dad are fighting again. Mom's drinking. It's like everything Doc and I ever did to fix things has fallen apart. Time to get some attention. Hands up, citizen. Assume the position. Here goes nothing. There better be apple juice in this. Well, why don't you open it and find out? Don't get smart with me. Fly. Officer Parker, what seems to be the problem here? Citizen McFly, ma'am. Came strolling up with a 181B violation in his pocket. Ugh. You, young citizen, where did you get that? That booze? Nowhere. Is he being smart with me? Yeah, he played that attitude on me as well. Can we just fast forward the lecture and just get this over with already? Now. Officer, demerit him severely. And as for the alcohol, drop it into the decycling bin. With pleasure, ma'am. Now, keep your nose clean, or you'll find yourself in front of Citizen Brown. trying to steal my free samples. You sure there's a dog around here? Listen, smart boy. There's only two things I'm allergic to. Dogs and disco. And I don't hear no chicka bow wow, do you? No. Then it's a dog. What's on the menu? Soup. Just soup? And more. What falls under the more category? We got neat loaf. It's made with textured wheat protein. Uh, 
No thanks. What else falls under the more category? Well, there's the hum burger. It's made from pressed roasted hummus. You have any real meat back there? Define real. I'm afraid to ask, but what other non-soup food do you have? Anything edible? Well, we have these pea and liver with soy cheese hot dogs. They're new, and we're offering free samples. You want one? Where are the free samples? Here. I keep them behind the counter. Oh, God. If you puke, you're cleaning it up, wuss. I, I can't finish this. Not my problem. Why are the samples behind the counter? I can't leave them out, dude. There's a DOG running around town, and he keeps going after the sample tray, knocking them all over the ground. A dog? Wait, these samples haven't been on the ground, have they? Jeez, McFly, relax. They're fresh, mostly. About this dog, what's he look like? Beats me. He's a smart little SOB. He only comes around when my back is turned. Then how do you know it's a dog? You can smell him? Allergies, dimwit. See ya. Smell you later. Even screwed up Nutso Hill Valley doesn't deserve that smell. business. I outsmarted you, didn't I? Uh, don't be like that, Einie. Give him the sample. Look, Einie, I've got a treat for you. Atta boy. Now hold still. See? I'm not such a bad guy, right? Oh, oh, oh okay. I guess I've won you over. I wish they were all this easy. Yes, ma'am. Filthy wretched 
beasts. Don't worry, Aini. Once I fix all this, you'll be back with Doc and romping through time. Now stay out of trouble. Unless you want a visit from Citizen Brown. What? You swiped your big brother's guitar? Is that supposed to impress me? It's not my brother's. It's mine. Yeah, sure. And you play it for me. Only you don't have an amp. Oh, yeah. That's right. Pathetic. That's me taken care of. Martin McFly, that was, that was, that was totally awesome. What can I say? Some guys got it and some guys don't. Mm -hmm. You broke my head stuck. I think I've got a new idol. Come here. Wait, I got a better idea. What was it you called me? A square? A girl's entitled to make a mistake, isn't she? Delinquency! Officer Parker! I just caught the 
these two degenerates violating statute number... Jennifer! Daddy! 476D! Open mouths? And tongues. You've gone too far, Jennifer. What's the big deal? It's only hormones. Stop! We don't use words like that in this town. I'll deal with you later, young lady. We're gonna have to have a long talk about the Citizen Plus program. What? Oh, come on. Officer, give Mr. McFly a 476D's worth of demerits. I'll tend to your wayward yes, daughter. Yes, ma'am. And this is for getting my daughter in trouble with Citizen Edna. Now keep out of trouble, or Citizen Brown will come down on you like a brick wall. Jennifer, are you still angry with me? Angry? Nah. The threat of being Citizen Plus was worth it just to see my dad's veins go all purple like that. Great, because I gotta go. Jeez, Martin, what's gotten into you? Booze, dogs, necking in public? It's like you're a different guy today. A way cooler guy. I know this is gonna be hard to believe, but I'm the same guy I've always been. It's everyone else who's messed up. And stop calling me Martin. It's Marty. Well, Marty, what's next on the agenda? Knocking over banks? Maybe. What's a guy got to do to get in trouble around here? Uh, I think you're about to find out. You, citizen. Get out of here, Jen. Not a problem. Are you Martin Seamus McFly? Yes. We have a warrant for your detention. Detention? You've accrued over 15,000 demerits in the past 24 hours. Cool. Is it young Mr. McFly? is being branded as a criminal of weak moral character. Cool. I'm not weak, but you are in a heap of trouble. Trouble? Oh my, yes. But don't worry, we're here to take care of you. Like your Citizen Plus program took care of Biff? Perhaps? The program is in need of new volunteers. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. First, Let's see what Citizen Brown has to say about your particular strain of antisocial behavior. You're taking me to Citizen Brown? Immediately. Officers, away with him. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma it's about time. I always knew your goody two-shoes A-plus student act was too good to be true. Jesus Christ, Doc, what happened to you? Doc, interesting. You regard me as a doc, indicating awareness that you're suffering from some variety of mental disorder. That's a hopeful sign, Mark. Of course, I'm not actually a doctor, but I do have the tools to turn you around and put you back on the road to societal normalization. Shall we begin with a few questions to establish a baseline? Let's get through this nonsense so I can set you straight. You set me straight? Explain. This whole crazy world you've created, it's totally mental. There's all these stupid rules and everybody's acting all weird. My dad's turned into this creepy snoop. Mom's completely pathetic. And Jennifer's kind of scary. And Biff, it's like he's a zombie or something. And it's all basically your fault. So you believe this interview is really more about me than you? Yes. 
You went through all this trouble just to deliver a message to me in person? Yes. A cry for help, as it were. Yes. No. Wait. Tell me, Mark. Is your mother on the sauce again? As a matter of fact, yeah, this hellhole of a town could drive anyone to drink. It's natural you should make excuses for me. But here in Hill Valley, we require our citizens to hold one another to the highest standards, even if those fellow citizens happen to be our old parents. I'm surprised your father hasn't set you straight on this point. He's shown himself to be a very obedient and cooperative citizen. You mean a warped citizen? He's supposed to be a science fiction writer, not a peeping Tom. And you're supposed to invent a time machine. Time machine? Yeah, Doc, listen to me. You don't remember it, but you built a time machine out of a DeLorean. Why? Well, just for the hell of it, I guess. Plus, the steel frame of the DeLorean dispersal, I don't know, but it was important for some reason. Absolutely. Yes! Yes, it is fascinating. It's it's amazing. It's incredible. But you don't know it because you've never invented it. You're not the real Doc Brown. You gotta believe me. And this is because... Everything got screwed up when I went back in time to 1931. Sounds like this time machine is a very impractical and dangerous invention. Yes, I, I mean, no. What I mean is it's messed up a lot of things, but first, it made a lot of things better. Uh, like my mom and my dad. It was only thanks to your time machine that they ever became successful and happy. So they're happy. But they're not, because you summoned me back in time, and somehow your timeline got messed up, and everybody else is along with it. I see. No, you don't. Think. Think back. Don't you remember me? We knew each other. When you were 18. I'm Sonny Crockett. Incredible. This case is more serious than I'd imagined. The boy has fabricated an alternate reality. No, this is the alternate reality. My reality is the real reality. Calm down, Martin. I'm not blaming you for anything. The failure is ours, not yours. Obviously, there was a drastic flaw in your social condition. Yeah. I don't understand. No, I don't understand yet, but I want to. I want to get at the root of your problem. Keep talking. Uh, Take your time. Look around the room. Perhaps something here will stimulate your, your memory. So that's what Judge Brown looked like. I never actually saw him. Of course not. He died before you were born. He was my biggest support. After my life, of course. That's a switch. Last time I saw your younger self, you and your dad had just had a big falling out over your decision to become an inventor instead of a lawyer. Isn't that right? Uh... An impressively detailed illusion. Keep talking. Take a look at this picture of Einstein here. The dog. Harboring dangerous animals is an admissible offense. Yeah, yeah, they told me. But you harbored this very same animal once, a long time ago. Remember the test run of your rocket car? Einstein landed on the roof of the courthouse. I do. I, I do recall something of the sort, but naturally it could not be the same dog. There wasn't anything natural about it. Einstein's a time traveler, too, thanks to your invention. I...
this picture, I keep it close by me to remind me of the moment when my life's course became clear. August 25th, 1931, the day I single-handedly captured Kintana, the scourge of Hill Valley. Single-handedly? And not incidentally the day I caught the eye of Edmund Strickland, my scientific muse and the love of my life. Take a look. What you see there is a young man who understands his destiny. That's not what I see. What do you see? proof that Hill Valley isn't the perfect place he thinks it is. One smoking gun coming up. Dad! Pop out the tape, son. I think it's done rewind. Oh, oh. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Sit here. Guess I blacked out for a minute there. Fell out of my chair. Fell nothing. Somebody whacked you. Whacked me? <laughs> Impossible. We take great pride in the fact that incidents of physical violence in Hill Valley have fallen to virtually... Ah! Who did it? Can you tell me? This can't be happening. There's got to be a clue around here somewhere. Dad, that's not one of our bats, is it? No. No. The McFlies never use aluminum bats. Curious. Oh, wait. Don't touch it. It's evidence. Of what? do a thing like that to a nice sector L citizen like me. What's the last thing you remember? <sighs> I was sitting right here, copying another incriminating scene onto my... my tapes. My tapes? What happened to my tapes? Stay calm, Dad. Are they on the floor? Do you see them? They're in a box marked raw footage. Here it is. Raw footage. Thank heavens. Wait a 
wait a minute. You see, I told you you were just jumping to conclusions. All these dark suspicions about thieves and attackers went all the time. It was just empty. What? There's no tapes. But I'm sure they were in there before. Before whoever it was whacked you in the head and took them. Oh my gosh, I've been mugged. Mugged in Hill Valley. They can't get away with it. Oh! Don't worry, Dad. We'll get to the bottom of this. Who... who could have done this to me? Who's been making trouble for you since, like, forever? Biff! Biff? Ever since the Browns took an interest in him back in the 50s, he hasn't caused me a lick of trouble. Besides, thanks to the Citizen Plus program, he's as gentle as a kitten these days. Oh, it's no use. The tapes are gone. All I can do is hope against hope they don't surface and land me in trouble. Come on, Dad. We can't just give up. I mean, maybe there's some more clues around here. What's the use? Even if we find out who took the tapes, we're not going to be able to get them back without attracting attention to ourselves. There's got to be something we could do to get our hands on those tapes. Well, we can make new ones. We can? Sure. It may take a while, but if you're willing to help your old man out, it shouldn't take us more than, say, six months. Six months? But I need those tapes now. You need the tapes. Uh, what I mean is... I gotta give it to Citizen Brown. I told him I was gonna furnish him with proof that Hill Valley isn't as happy as he thinks it is. And I was in his office, just before I came here. You had an interview with Citizen Brown? It wasn't easy to get, believe me. I had to break all kinds of rules. You've been breaking rules? Harboring straight dogs, kissing girls in public, getting caught with Mom's flask. That is the most far-fetched story I've ever heard. It's true. You forget I'm your father. I know your history. Yeah, well, history's changed. Prove it. But it's the only way. I don't understand. Dad, listen to me. I mean, really listen. You and I both know that things aren't right here. Citizen Brown might have started with good intentions, but his Hill Valley's just made everybody miserable. Shh! You said that to him? Basically, yeah. Oh, there go our privileges. No, wait. I, I got him to listen, Dad, and he's gonna make things right for you and Mom and all of us. I can't explain how. You're just gonna have to trust me on this. Okay. But first I have to show him your tapes to prove my point. Oh no, 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 no. Dad, this scheme of yours. Maybe you know what you're doing, I can't say. But leave me out of Dad. it. Dad, I don't like trouble. I can't handle it. It's not in my genes. But... Do it for your father. My father? Yeah, Arthur McFly. I know his name. Did he have something to do with putting away Kid Tan and, you know, way back when? Yes. Yes, he did. Where did you hear about that? It was way back before Citizen Brown cleaned up the town, before I was even born. Everyone lived in terror of Kid Tan and then his goons. But Dad stood up to him. He had evidence of Kid's guilt, see, and he risked his life to deliver it to the authorities. Never be afraid to do the right thing. That's what he used to tell me. And what are you doing? Trying to remember which is the right feed. Feed to what? To the surveillance camera, the one in the yard. Wait a minute, wait a minute. You have a surveillance camera trained on yourself? Of course. I've got to cover all bases. Now help me figure out which monitor I'm on. That doesn't look right.
me get this straight. You captured this whole attack on tape? Of course. Surveillance is what I do. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Come on, son. Stop dawdling and help me track down that feed. Try flipping the switches. Okay, here we are. Mr. Tanner, what's up? Uh, 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 
Is that McFly kid bothering you? Uh, hey, you can't go in there. cigars Cubans Tannin listen to me uh, babes uh, Yeah, she's a stripper, all right. You sound like my wishy washy husband, always trying to find the good in people, never wanting to accept the fact that some people are just born bad. Maybe, but that doesn't give you the right to turn them into zombies. Now, give me my dad's tape so I can. You mean those tapes I erased while you were struggling with my zombie? What? Come on. Utopias are fragile things, Mr. McFly. Especially when overseen by minds as distractible as my husband. So, no. Edna! Doc? Emmett, what are you doing here? I came down here to investigate a troubling report involving Mr. Tanner. Doc, you gotta stop her. She. Silence! Okay. 
I was concerned there might be a flaw in my Citizen Plus program. Imagine my surprise when I found my wife perverting my life's work. Is this what it's all been about, Edna? All those years? All our struggles to cure society's illnesses? Just to create a world where free will can be turned off with a flick of a switch? Oh, please, Emmett. You wanted this just as much as I did. Remember? If only we could tell someone to stay off the grass and so help us, they would never tread foot on a well-manicured lawn again. That's what Citizen Plus does. It makes rules unbreakable. I only gave it the slightest of changes. Enough. We will not have this discussion here. But... Go home and wait for me. Fine. so hard on yourself, this Hill Valley may be a little messed up. Oh, okay, a lot messed up, but you were just trying to help people. Or was I just entranced by the challenge of transforming the human psyche like so many chemicals? I'm sorry about Edna, Doc. She didn't seem so bad back in 1931. No, she wasn't. When we were first dating, she was so spirited, principled, compassionate. When did I lose her? I'm sure he wouldn't blame you for all this, Doc. He was so happy when I gave up my childish dreams in favor of Edna's more practical pursuits. Are you proud of me now, Father? Ah, enough wallowing. What's done is done. It's time to look forward. Maybe, but maybe not. What? Your notebook from the other timeline. Not this foolishness again. Look, you can use it to repair the time machine and fix all this so it never happened. Everyone could be back the way they're supposed to be. You, Edna, Jennifer, my parents. Doc, you once told me if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. Well, accomplish this. That's a lot of empty pages. The only one you need is right here. He's back. It'll take time, of course, but once it's done, we'll have all the time in the world. Ha <laughs> ha! Doc? Martin, we must get started at once. Come on! We bring Einie along. The dog, yes, of course. You know, I used to love dogs before Edna came along. You don't say. I'll go ahead and start preparing a lab. Edna will be furious, but who cares? We've got a time machine to fix. <laughs> Don't worry, boy. I'll get you out of here in no time. What is it, Heine? McFly! Hey, Biff. You okay? We're almost yeah, done. Yeah, okay. Better than I've been in a long time, you know? So you remember... That witch making me do stuff? Yeah, she'll get what's coming to her. No one tells Biff Tannen what to do. No one. Hey, I I'm the guy who snapped you out of it. Really? Because all I remember is a punk kid who thought it'd be funny to make me jump down a hole. Ah. Sick of. 
Place your bets. Place your bets. What the? Let's get out of here, Riney. Ah, sorry I took so long. Biff came around to jump me. I totally laid him out with the old book. Martin McFly. Edna, it's almost impressive how many years of work and planning you nearly ruined in just a few short hours. Where's Doc? Uh, Doc. My husband is in a better place. A better place? What have you done to him? Relax, Martin. We've got everything under control. So we haven't seen the clockwork orange. Here's the real story. I'm a Marty McFly from an alternate timeline. Edna, why? Because you're weak, Emmett. What can I say? She's my muse. I'm not sure I like where this is going. It's almost embarrassing how devoted he is to me. You gotta believe me, Jennifer. This whole town's gone crazy, and Citizen Brown and I are the only ones who can fix it. There is no future for us. And that's for sometime after Christmas. I'm Brian Croydragon, signing out. Stay shray!